All right, you guys, today we're check out how to make this a retro extruded text made out of thin lines here in Illustrator. For this tutorial, I'm gonna go with this text as reference. This is made out of strokes. I'm also gonna show you how you can make these real quick. So I'm gonna go with this text and I'm gonna go and search for the sloop and I'm gonna select the sloop script one. We'll get a nice script, decrease the opacity and I'm gonna swap it from field to stroke and I'm gonna go and select the pencil tool and of course with the pencil tool, make sure to double click on the pencil tool here. And let's go with the settings. The smooth is gonna be max and make sure to check the settings here. Click okay. And now all you need to do is just draw on it. Doesn't need to be perfect, but try to make it a little bit more accurate. Now we got a pretty bad result, but don't worry about it. I'm gonna to go to the object path and select smooth. And I can increase the smoothness. This is gonna make it rounded and it's gonna perfect it. You can select the direct selection tool and just customize it a little bit better. Repeat the step with the rest of the letters and now I'm gonna go back to the original text and I'm also gonna change up the color, make it light gray. So before apply the 3D, make sure that everything is grouped together. So I'm gonna select everything and right click, select group. And from here, let's go to the effect, go to 3D materials, go to 3D classics and select extrude and bevel classic. And let's go to the XYZ rotation here. I gotta go to the first one and I gotta type in 16. Let's go to the second one. This is gonna be minus 13. And the third one is gonna be minus three. All right, so from here, I gotta go to the extrude depth and increase the extrusion nice and high. But as you can see, in my situation, you won't be able to see any shading in here. So I'm gonna go here to the more options. And here I'm gonna set up the global light. So I'm gonna switch it to the left side and I can see, we can see some shading going on. I'm gonna increase the extrusion a little bit more. I gotta click OK. And now let's go to the object, expand appearance, right click on the shapes and select on group all. So we're gonna to need to unite these extrusion, which looks something like this, where basically you can release the compound path, but what we're gonna to need to do is unite them. So for example, this one is separated as well. So I'm gonna press Ctrl Shift and select both of these shapes. And I'm gonna go to the Pathfinder and click on Unite. So we need to repeat this step with every each extrusion here. And for that, I'm gonna go to the Pathfinder. I'm gonna bring it here to the center. And just this way, I'm gonna select everything and Unite. So it's gonna be really close to it. Let's go and speed up the process. All right, so from here, we're gonna to need to change up the colors. And I'm gonna select one of the extrusions here. And let's go to the gradient, click on the gradient. And I'm gonna press the letter G and I'm gonna rotate, I'm gonna drag it. I'm also gonna swap it so the black is gonna be on the top. And let's go and add some colors. I'm gonna click here, double click on it, change up the color. All right, so I'm gonna go with these colors as a reference. And what I'm gonna do is select the thin text strokes, press and hold shift, and I'm gonna select them, right click, group, and I'm gonna recolor it and also lock it. Go to object, lock, selection. So now I can work strictly with the extrusion. I'm gonna select everything, press the letter I, or select the eyedropper tool here. And let's click on this gradient. Go here, type in minus 43. And we're gonna to need to arrange everything separately. So all I need to do is press the letter G and arrange the gradients. All right, so this is how it looks. And I'm also thinking to add some grain. So I gotta go and select all the gradients. And let's go to effect. Let's go down to texture and select grain. So the main point is it's going to show up one single shape and I'm gonna go with the settings, intensity and contrast. I'm gonna click okay. And let's wait, hope it won't crash and take a look at that. Now it applied the grain on every each shape. I also gonna unlock the stroke, go to object and select unlock all. And pretty much that's it. Thanks for watching.